Hey, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I wanna give you guys some insight into different trading styles. Different trading styles in the sense of day trading, swing trading, and position trading, which we'll touch on at the end of the video. With trading styles, unfortunately, it takes a lot of experience to kind of find what really suits for you. But in this video, I'm gonna give you guys some insight into the pros and cons of day trading, swing trading, and position trading, and just some insight how to navigate through lower time frames and higher time frames. And like I was saying, the disadvantages and the advantages. For those of you that are new, my name is Jerome. I am a full-time Forex trader based here in Sydney, Australia. And I'm also working alongside Austin Silva as an ASFX coach, helping struggling traders become profitable. Finding your way around the market, the financial markets can be a little bit tricky. You gotta find out what type of style you wanna adapt into your daily routine, what fits your lifestyle and what fits your risk appetite and how much action do you want to be in? Do you wanna be taking trades continuously like a day trader like I do? Still being selective, of course. You don't just wanna be chucking orders at MT4 and just hoping for the best. Or do you wanna be more of a swing trade on the high time frames, taking advantage of you know cleaner market structure and kind of the less stress kind of lifestyle where you can only check the charts once a day and then go off and do your thing, whether you have a full-time commitment like working in nine to five, family commitments or just other commitments that you can't dedicate you know, in between two to five hours continuously at your screen, or you just don't wanna be tied down on the lower time frames trading. So we're gonna dive into that right now onto the screens, and we're gonna be looking at GBP USD on the 15 minute time frame, talking about day trading first. As you can see in front of you, we have the 15 minute time frame on GBP USD, and you can see there's a lot of noise. There's a lot of candles, a lot of wicks, and um, it can get a little bit confusing for a lot of traders. So let's try and break it down and let's section it off to how we can navigate the lower time frames and let's talk about some pros and cons real quickly. As you can see, these little black bars up here at the top and at the bottom. This is the Asia session, which ends about, depending on that savings, but roughly about five to 6 p.m. Uh, in here in Sydney, Australia. So I trade the London session and pretty much I trade the London session due to more volatility, more volume, and I can be in and out of trades quicker. With the Asia session, it is a bit slow, it's a bit choppy, and as you can see, it's pretty much the start from 9 a.m. here in Sydney, Australia, to like I was saying before, 5 or 6 p.m., depending on the savings here in Australia as well, where the London session kicks off. So trading the Asia session can be a little bit difficult to navigate on the lower time frames since there is not much movement. It's very choppy, it's very up and down, and that creates what we like to call the Asia session range. So what I like to see, and going back, is something like this, where you have, once again, the Asia session range from 9 a.m. in the morning here in Sydney, Australia, to 5 p.m. in Sydney, Australia, you can see how it breaks and then we get heaps of movement. Instead of this kind of choppiness, we get some heaps of volume picking up. I like to trade that type of market condition. Once again, this came from experience. So with day trading the lower time frame, what can you expect? What are some of the kind of the good things about it? Well, you get a lot more trade opportunities. With more trade opportunities, it allows you to be more selective, which in return will help you and your win rate. So you'll win more trades and you um, lose less trades, resulting in better trade performance and better profits in your pocket. Another one of the advantages, and this is a really good one for new traders, is that you get a lot of experience from understanding how price moves, how it reacts to structure, support and resistance, and also how it reacts to EMAs and just general market dynamics. You will understand how each pair moves, the characteristics of each given pair. So we know GBP USD, GBP JPY, they're very sporadic. They have massive moves compared to maybe Euro USD, where it's a little bit slower. Understanding these type of characteristics in the Forex market can take time. And it is great experience for a new trader to come in and understand how it moves. Some of the disadvantages on the lower time frame can be a lot of market noise, which can be very difficult to uh, navigate. 
As you can see here, I have a combination of five exponential moving averages, EMAs, which helps move data out. As you can see, these cool little colorful lines here. Basically what they do is help me access uh, dynamic support and resistance to help me navigate through the market. Now, with that comes another disadvantage of you gotta be able to dedicate anywhere between two and five hours of continuous time sitting in front of the screens. Now, because each candle represents 15 minutes, you gotta check the charts pretty much every 15 minutes and make your trading decision based on the candle close and where it's closing or opening. That can induce a lot of stress. If you, you know, are tired, if you have other commitments, and if you can't, if it doesn't fit your lifestyle, your trading performance just isn't gonna be up to scratch. Let's jump up to the four hour and the daily chart. And now this will be more of a swing trading type of trading style where we can navigate the market on the higher time frames and we can make our trading decision based on the four hour or daily close depending on which time frame we choose. Yes, you can still technically day trade the four hour chart since you know you can get enough hours in the day to make up a few candles, but you can also easily swing trade it because you can read market structure easier. And if a news event comes out, you're not gonna get shaked out. So that's another thing with day trading on the lower time frame, such as a 15 minute. If a big geopolitical event happens or you have a news event that comes out, you may get shaked out of the market and it may hit your stop loss. If you're on the four hour or daily, your stop loss will be a little bit bigger, but if news does come out unexpectedly, you will be safe as it may not hit your stop loss. There is a chance, but more times than not, you'll be good and well. So as we were talking about before on the 15 minute time frame, you will have a lot of noise. And as you can see on the four hour, it is a lot cleaner. You can simply see how support and resistance works looking at these levels. And you can just navigate the market really clean, really simple. Resistance, pullback, resistance broken, resistance now comes support, retest. And it is very easy to kind of navigate. Dropping back down to the 15 minute time frame, you can see it's very noisy, a lot of candles, and it can be a little bit difficult to navigate. So, Understanding this will really kind of help you as a trader, kind of find your type of trading style. Another advantage of the 15 minute time frame, so day trading on the intraday time frame compared to the four hour, you can find higher probability trade setups and be more selective, like I was saying before, using four hour or daily zones and getting your entries on the 15 minute. So this will give you a tighter entry and a tighter stop loss, making um, you take advantage of a bigger move. Whereas if you took the entry on the four hour, you may have to have a bigger stop loss and therefore your risk to reward will be a little bit skewed and you won't be getting much in return. Jumping onto the daily time frame, so this would be someone who can only check the charts once a day. One of these candles represents 24 hours of price action, which means you literally only have to check the charts once every 10 to 20 minutes a day. That is very stress-free type of trading, but once again, you are only going to get a few signals once per week, depending how many pairs you're looking at, or even you could go a few weeks without taking any trades or any trades presenting because you're on a higher time frame, waiting 24 hours for these candles to close to make your trading decision. Once again, you can see how market structure reacts to these time frames. You can draw out zones and you can make your trading decisions based on these zones that are very solid because they have when you jump up to higher time frames, support and resistance becomes more heavily weighted into those zones because it's just respected more on higher time frames. So when you're on the daily and the four hour, those zones are better. And like I was saying before, when you can draw zones on the four hour daily and you want to become more of a day trader, so actively trading and make taking positions, you can use those zones to find those trading positions and those trading opportunities on the lower time frame. So you can see down here, and this is a good example of how much noise that can occur in the market. So this example here, we drew these zones on the daily. You would have to navigate this on the 15 minute. It looks very stressful, it can be, but with the correct approach, it actually doesn't have to be that hard dividing everything. But some people enjoy this type of trading and find a lot of success. 
Other people will find a lot of um, success trading the daily time frame and swing trading trades. It all depends on your personality and lifestyle. So coming over to position trading, so more of the weekly or monthly. So each one of these candles now represent one week worth of price action. So one week worth of trading and then the monthly candles represent one month of price action or trading. Of course, if you're waiting for these monthly or weekly candles to close to make your trading decision, you have to wait one week or one month. So you're gonna have a lot less action, a lot less opportunity in the market. And that may not suit a lot of traders, you know. So I would personally recommend, and this is what I say to a lot of traders is, experiment. Open up a demo account and see what you, fill the market, get an idea of what happens, see how you can view it with your perspective. Can you read the trends? I know traders that can read the lower time frames perfectly. They can get a great read on it and they can kind of just gauge where price is going based on the movement and how the candles, the wicks. And then I know other traders that do very well on the four hour and daily swing trading their position um, for a few days or weeks. Both ways, day trading, swing trading, and position trading, they are all profitable. Yes, you'll get more opportunities on the day trading side of things where you'll be taking multiple trades per week, but you have to remember more trades does not equal more money. You will be more or less taking a few more losses as well if you are not being selective in your trading, uh, in your trade setups, and you're just taking trades that pretty much present over and over again. You gotta be selective, you gotta trade a plan, and that is going to be your best way for success. And the same thing applies on the four hour and daily when you are swing trading. You don't have to be as selective because the signals will be more weighted in your favor, which means there'll be more higher prob probability trade signals because there is more data in each candle, which means price is really kind of taking off in one direction. So if you look simply over here, you can see the cross of the eight EMA, which is the yellow line here and across of the red. So the eight crossing up over the red. You can see this massive candle over here and you can take advantage of this trade. You can take advantage of a trade like this on the four hour and you can just let it go and you can set take profit. You can trail your stop loss or you can simply go on to a lower time frame and let's try and find that similar cross of the eight and 21. I can see one over here. So you see candle formation. I'm just picking up random ones here and you put your stop loss down here. You can still take advantage of this very similar signals that present in the market. Once again, you can see we get 5R. So you risk 100 to get 500 in this case. Whereas if you go back to the four hour and I show you that first example we showed right here, mm -mm -mm, you are only getting 3R. So risk 100 to get 300. So yes, day trading on the lower time frames, like I was saying before, will give you a tighter stop loss and a better entry so you can take advantage of a bigger move. But on the four hour, it's less stressful. You can do other things in between. You know, you're not glued to the screens all day. So you can kind of enjoy life a little bit. But some people love day trading. I personally love the lower time frames, but I also like the higher time frames and will eventually incorporate that into my trading style just due to lifestyle. If I can't focus on the 15 minutes due to other things happening around in my life, then I'm gonna just make the logical decision to jump up to the high time frame so I can really kind of be consistent in my analysis, in my trading and in my executions. If you have made it this far in the video, I appreciate your time. I just wanna take a quick minute to announce that some of you may know I'm releasing a Traded Initiative course. It is gonna be a beginner's guide into Forex trading and it's going to be completely free. I'm just going to dump it on YouTube for you guys to watch. I'm in the process of making this still in the comment uh, description box below. You will see a sign up where you can register your interest and I'll let you guys know and give you guys updates on when it will be released. I'm hoping in the next two to three months. I have a lot of stuff that I'm working on at the minute, but register your interest. I'm going to talk about this stuff more trading styles, how to get started into Forex, how to navigate the market, using support resistance price action candles. It's gonna be full on. So register your interest below and um, you don't wanna miss it. I hope you guys got some value out of this video. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button. If you're not already, please subscribe to my YouTube video and help the YouTube algorithm get this information to other traders out there. And if you haven't already, please smash that bell icon so you get notified when I release any new content. 
Once again, I appreciate your time and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh,